How's it going guys? I figured I'd make this video real quick and let you, uh, tell y'all happy Easter. Have a great Easter weekend and uh, talk to you guys about some of the stuff that I use uh, before um, there's fixed to be a big change. As you can see, I don't know if you can see behind me, but this is the substrate I'm about to, uh, after Easter, I'm about to do an enclosure move and rearrange and I went to go look at more enclosures today and I had to pick up substrate and I was going to show you all the substrate that I get in bulk that way I get it from my local pet store and but y'all can probably look it up online I'm not sure where he gets the stuff from I just know I get it from him um as you see it's Rocky Mountain Softwood uh screen shavings uh T-Tone distributed by T-Tone Forest Products this is a limited mobility company, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Product of the USA. It's compressed. This is a uh, Aspen, guys. Uh, it's chopped up real fine. It's kind of like sandy chips. I used to get sandy chips, and I quit getting sandy chips because they, the distributor that I was getting them from, didn't sell them anymore. So this is the stuff that I'm using now. It's a big, huge bag. It is 10 and a half cubic foot loose, uh, compressed to 3.1 cubic feet, expands back to 8 uh, cubic feet. That's enough to do all my enclosures with. Um, letting y'all know that I'm going to, like I said, I was gonna, I'm was gonna, i going to move the enclosures. I have a way to set them up. I don't know if it's going to work out, though. It's going to require me a lot of work. i got to pull my bed out of here and a bunch of stuff. And I actually have to cut some wood and stuff. But whenever I'm done, I think it's going to be better for me and better for the animals. I had to go uh, get light bulbs. So I'm going to show you all the light bulbs that go in those Zilla fixtures that I, was, that I use on my enclosures. This is the light bulbs that I get, guys. Uh, I have been buying the GU-10. Uh, I believe these are gu ten. I have been buying GU10 that aren't uh, these dichloric filter ones because these are more expensive. But I got these for uh, $12 from uh, the local pet guy. And I was looking at some snakes too. I might, I might be getting more snakes, a couple more snakes. I'm not sure yet. I got to look into it and uh, move the enclosures first and see what I got going on. Uh, the main point of this video is just to tell y'all guys to have a good Easter and stuff. Uh, let me see, there's, there's Isabella up there. Uh, y'all have a great Easter weekend, man. Uh, keep your eyes open because I am moving the enclosures and I'm after I move them, uh, everybody ate uh, yesterday. So I got to give them a few days before I can actually put them in in hurt bags and start cleaning stuff but i'm gonna deep clean the enclosures and i'm gonna try to set them up over here and see if it works out if it works out it'll be there'll be more room in here and pretty much all my enclosures will fit up against one wall if i did my measurements and my calculations correctly uh, should look pretty good i am using i am going to go ahead i broke down and i'm going to use this for the I want to say fascia the outside of the enclosures I am gonna attach this so it looks like the trim on it so it look all the enclosures look real pretty uh, keep your eyes peeled guys as always keep watching my videos uh, like comment subscribe all that good stuff y'all have a great Easter and I'll see y'all in the next video